That's a core memory. That wouldn't kill you instantly, though, would it? Wouldn't she be on the ground, like, twitching and gurgling for a while? Of course, all my knowledge of neck wounds comes from TV shows. Me logging in while cutting an apple and seeing a woman killing herself. <laughs> if it is consciousness that weaves your wills together, consciousness that blurs the boundary between your own will and that of others, then we shall set you apart once more. The ties that bind you shall be severed, and humanity return to its proper place. By primogenesis shall a new age of reason begin. I thought you were stuck in uh, Joshua's chest. When did you get out? Steam achievement. Your Majesty. Sometime later. What? What do you mean later? I thought she was dead. PG stream chat. Don't you want to play? It's been a long time. If that is your wish. Men, you are as meek as all the others. Such fear ah! creatures. <laughs> He's like, wait, I didn't sign up for this. Gifted the power of icons, yet slaves to fickle emotions which usher you. To your doom. Thing is, I know that part of the people in chat, like myself, scream at that change, and other people in chat are like, upgrades, people, upgrades. And so you bind your fragile worlds with strands of consciousness. The wretched handiwork of a wretched people. The sons of fire were united at last. Did you just turn into Ultima? But a moment, their flame burned bright. Oh god. Soon, Muthos shall become our perfect vessel. Muthos. And then shall the world be remade. Not before the bonds are severed of trust, of respect. Of love. Only when every strand of consciousness is cut away, may Muthos return to our side. By primogenesis shall all be undone. Mankind shall be rid of his wretchedness, and Muthos of his will. But while he yet clings to it, he has the power to forge bonds anew. And so we bid you find Muthos and sever everyone. Is me first Clyde? I think so, yeah. Physical form. You ask the impossible. There is nothing your black blade cannot cut, Odin. Oh, that's the guy that turns into Odin. Shall unite with Muthos and bring forth a new world. So long as our vessel remains unclaimed by humanity. It shall be done, Master. My will is yours. I don't know if we know her. 
I want to know why he's naked right now. Yo, Cheeks! I don't know why he's naked right now. Mother. Oh, it says mom. What? Uh, as far as why he's naked, I think the implication there was, hey, check out this ruler of another nation, and, uh, Ultima is hiding in his bedchamber as a shapeshifter. So, like, the whole, th the whole takeaway there is a ruler from another nation that turns into another icon is under Ultima's control, and that's freaking bad. Right? Like, that's, that's the main takeaway there. Is this the first Final Fantasy you've played, Mock? Uh, this is the first one I've played for more than 10 hours. How is your brother? Asleep since I returned from the Dominion. Taya says he should be back on his feet soon enough. For a while. At least. She discovered something on his chest. A swelling circled in stone. A curse. For every mountain we climb, another arises up to greet us, doesn't it? It's never ending. Even the sky seems to have grown tired of it all. If you enjoyed this game, you'll probably enjoy FF7. The thing that kind of turned me away from trying FF7 is that it's three full-priced games. Like, from what I understand, it's like 60 bucks or something for part one of three of FF7, because they split it up into a bunch of different games. And I'm just like, so like, maybe I would enjoy it? That's entirely possible? But $180 is a... That's a lot of change to slap down. Things fall apart. The power of light. Clive has claimed a portion of the icon Bahamut's essence. The tuning with Bahamut not only changes the elemental aspect of Clive's magic spells, but also allows access to several new iconic abilities, such as Impulse, which creates multiple spheres of light that pursue a target, dealing continuous damage. Uh, ability details are found on the Abilities tab of the main menu. Bahamut's feet. Use Bahamut's iconic feet, Wings of Light, to begin casting Mega Flare, an immensely powerful spell that showers enemies with a deluge of searing light. Uh, the longer the spell is charged, the more powerful the results. Press shift to cast the spell when ready. Taking damage while casting will channel the spell. Tell you won't be happy if I disturb Joshua. While he rests, I might as well see what Otto has to say. Um... Let's have this selected so we can try it out the next time. Oh man, Jed, it looks like there's two more. <laughs> so Odin and something, probably. Impulse. Oh, those look neat. I like that. So when multiple spheres of light that upon striking enemy do a continuous damage. Uh, flare breath. Breathe forth a plume of light aspected flame that both nullifies magic and does continuous damage. Uh, satellite. Summon multiple light aspected familiars that attack any enemies on which Clive uses magic. So it just like, it does an attack when you do an attack? Yeah. Okay. Giga Flare. Fire a massive beam of overcharged light that burns any enemy it hits. 
Uh, that's a one minute cooldown. Okay. All right, we'll try some of this out for the next uh, opportunity in combat. I'll swap a um, Titan out for that and see how we like it. Did you see the pair that got pulled into time? Uh, I love FF7, but Square Enix has a PS5 exclusive policy. It's very annoying. Uh, only two thirds have come out on FF7 remake. Yeah, I actually thought only one third did come out, so I didn't realize the second one was out. Otto, how fares the realm? The realm? Oh, she's just fine. As long as you look past the fact storms out mother crystals and her skies are a roiling cesspit. And Gav. He's with your uncle in the Free Cities, helping Mid with her project. Setting an owl their way the moment the winds turn foul. Still waiting on a reply, though. Do you have any good news? Well, that depends on your definition of good. All right, fine. What do you suggest we do? Oh, no, I'm just the messenger. I'll leave the scheme to those more suited to the task. Could be that Lady Vivian and Old Tomes have their own thoughts on the current state of things. Could be that they don't. It certainly can't hurt to ask. I suppose not. All right, well, Vivian's right here. How is it that every one of your little excursions presages some <laughs> inexplicable catastrophe? It's not my fault. Not that you are to blame for the Dominion's fate. No one could have predicted the actions of the Crown Prince. I'm sorry I couldn't save your home. My countrymen are stronger than you think. A few toppled clock towers won't break their spirits. They'll be back on their feet in no time. I hope so. Look at us. Bluer than a pair of bog crabs. Tempting though it may be, sulking will not help us find a solution to this mess. <laughs> you believe there's one to be found? I don't know. But I am certain we're more likely to find it if we first examine the facts. That blight is uh, spreading a lot. Beneath these darkened skies, fear and confusion reign over Valisthea. Oh, the lands around the fallen mother crystals had already begun to wilt for want of ether. But not like this. Crystals that filled wells and fueled furnaces. Now nothing but pretty shards of rock. Oh no, they'll have and to use normal wells. From the people's necks, cast nary a glimmer of light to keep the dark at bay. It is only a matter of time before the common folk convince themselves that the end of days is upon us. And yet I fear a swift end is more than we can hope for. While most of the world thirsts for ether, the remainder drowns in it, spawning a Kashik in droves. And amidst the hordes of mindless beasts, with magics as like to fail as function, even the strongest nation would falter. Rosaria and the Iron Kingdom teeter on the brink of collapse, while the tragedy in Twinside has all but paralyzed the Holy Empire. Dalmechia fares little better. Rumor has it the ministers fled the capital after the fall of Drake's Fang, leaving their beloved Republic to crumble. Wulud, meanwhile, moves in earnest. The Iron Heyar has been sighted off storm. The world, in short, is in chaos. Wizard. <laughs> it would seem our civilization was okay. nothing but a castle of sand. To be washed away at the whim of the waves. This is the whole, I gotta say, if this is like the world map, it's a pretty small world. This is like looking at like a Europe map. A castle of sand. Not my best flourish, but it seemed fitting. The reports I've received are considerably more blunt in their appraisal. Without the protection of their nations, it will fall to the people to defend themselves against those who would take what is theirs. I didn't smack. Hello. Which is only ever going to end one way. Defending a farmhouse against a band of chocobo thieves is one thing. 
but pitchforks and palisades will do little to stall an army's advance. Should the King of Wulu deign to invade, there would be none to stop him. Hmm. None but us. So he's like, wait, I wasn't done talking. I just leave him at Simmons. Alright. Let's go talk to Tomes. about the skies. Is there anything you don't know, Lawsman? <laughs> it doesn't take a court astrologer to argue the obvious. As for what has disturbed the heavens, that, I believe, is a question the Fallen might be better placed to answer than I. And on the sixth day, did the gods tear the sun from the firmament, visiting darkness upon their prideful sons and daughters? But I dare say you remember your childhood lessons on the sins of Zemeckis only too well. You think they're connected? That Ultima was one of the gods responsible? Well, he has certainly exhibited powers that we mortals would associate with the divine. There is nothing divine about him. <sighs> but he wouldn't be the first god of whom that could be said, now would he? Yet for all the fairy tales that tell of the sins, there is almost nothing in the way of actual historical accounts. Had I the journal of Moss the Chronicler, I may have been able to tell you more, but alas, I fear all remaining copies have been lost to time. You will forgive me, I hope? Certainly not. Because there is nothing to forgive. Certainly not. Even without this journal, you've provided us ample wisdom. And we will always be grateful for it. Perhaps Otto will be more inclined to share his thoughts when he hears what the others had to say. Go back to Otto, okay? arrive while you were at the shelves. Martha's got a cashier at her gates and talk of monsters roaming the hills outside of Northreach has put the wind up Isabel and her lot. And don't forget Dalimhill. Lubor says the village was raided by bandits. When it rains, it fucking pours. The curse breakers are spread thin taking stock of the damage in the Dominion. And even if I could get word to all of them, I doubt they'd get here in time to make any real difference. Which means... There's only two people who can. Jill and I. Let them know we're on our way. New quest is available in Alliance Reports. Fancy a look at the list, do you? Here you go. Why we fight. Flames of War. Oh my god, there's a lot of them. Uh, okay. There's a bunch here. Live and let live. Let's go see what this is. All right, we're in the desert area. What's happened? All right, what can I do for you? But would you happen to be that well-notched steel and impressive physique? Mm. I have need of a sword for hire, and yours looks to be a weapon well worth the coin. Might you be convinced to offer me the use of those formidable arms? <laughs> How exactly do you intend to use them? Flatterer. Well, being something of a scholar of Zemeckian history, I wish to investigate the ruins near the city. And I require a rugged companion, lest I find myself waylaid by ne'er-do-wells or the beasts said to roam the area. Lest he finds himself a lonely man. You will not only earn yourself material wealth, but partake of the true treasure that awaits us there. The rich and storied history 
of Zemeckis. You had me at material well, wealth. Were you ever party to a finer proposition? My arms are yours. <laughs> Wonderful. But only the arms. Then come. And bring them back when you're we done. Must away. But where are we going? Along the old Zemeckis road. And from there, onward to discovery. Quickly. There is not a moment to lose. Wait. Bye. <sighs> Good luck with your Nanderwells. I better make sure he doesn't get himself killed. Uh, okay. that way. Alright, let's see what this one is. I see you've been of some assistance to Eloise. Perhaps you can extend me the same kindness? Perhaps. I mean, I helped her catch some thieves. What would I be doing? Finding someone. You see, I've been having trouble with thieves, and despite the many pains I've taken, I can't stop them from rummaging through my packs. I was griping about my lot to a friend of mine a few days back, and he offered to track the culprits down. Now, Joseph's a sellsword, and a good one at that. But he's been gone days, and I'm beginning to fear the worst. Okay. Any idea where his search for the thieves might have taken him? The old Zemeckis Road, perhaps? He doubted they would be fool enough to linger here in Boklad. Joseph's lived a hard life. Made him grey long before his time. I just pray he hasn't been killed over a few sacks of grain. Can't imagine there are too many grey-haired cell swords around. Hopefully someone will have seen him. Okay. All right. What I wouldn't give. We're gonna go in this direction and keep hitting the quest updates. There's two quests over here. When are they gonna let us through? What do you want? I've no coin on me. Just information. Has a cell sword passed through here? Gray hair. Now you mention it, there was a young man with salt in his mane sneaking around out there a while back. Which way did he go? I... How am I supposed to know? I got off down the road, I expect. Now why don't you do the same and leave me be? Come on, dude, give her a coin. We have like $30,000. Give her a coin for the information. Oh my god, Clive is such a jerk. Wow! Why am I not surprised? All right. How long does this take to charge? Level one mega flare. Wow, that goes for a while. I like how the other guy walked into it. He was like, me too. Why are they all walking into it? It's over. That was really weird that they all moved into it. Use perfect dodge. Perfect dodge in that form make it charge faster. Noted. Are you hurt? Happily not, good sir. Thanks to your timely intervention. More importantly, we have arrived. Wait, now, the spot you wanted to travel to was like 20 feet outside town? Us. Ruins. A relic of the fallen civilization. A site so common that man is oft blinded to its wonder. Colossal vessels, dashed from the very heavens. Airships, we call them. With very little thought to what wonders such a word might describe. Oblige me if you would. Does anything strike you as peculiar about this particular specimen? Though we ourselves find fallen ruins to be nigh indestructible, whatever gouged the final sin from the rock cleaved clean through the structure you see before you. 
A tantalizing mystery, no doubt. But merely one of countless enigmas in which Zemeckian history is steeped. Come, good sir. Our expedition continues, and we still have much to learn. I don't wanna. He's passionate. Hmm. Let's do... Hello, I'm here about a quest update. I don't know which one. We don't want any trouble. Neither do I. I'm looking for someone. A grey-haired mercenary. Well, we haven't seen him. Yes, we have. We saw him climbing up the rocks. Those ones, over there. Maybe he found his thieves. Mum won't let me near them. She said there's goblins up there, and that they eat little boys for dinner. Shush, now. You've said quite enough already. I only told him what you said. I'd listen to your mother if I were you. Yeah, kid, you shouldn't have told me anything, stupid. Don't forget to check back at the hunt board and make sure to take out remaining targets. Last few cough up upgrade items, sword weapons. Uh, yeah, we'll get to that. Knocking out a few side quests that just became available. Not it. All right then. Who's first? Boy, that one sat at 1 HP for a while. You might end up stumbling on one of those hunt mobs nearby uh, to the side quests. Yeah, the, the very first hunt mob I ever found, it was one of those ones, it was like a, just a... It, it was Mike Wazowski. You're going to with wings. I ran into that one before oh, I learned about the hunt not, board at all. Not to at all. Not when such majesty stretches out before us. Behold, the final sin in all its glory. As Moss tells us, a battle was fought here in ancient times. A battle of such ferocity that it tore a great crater in the very land upon which it was waged. In reaching for their holy sanctum did man enrage the gods. And great was the vengeance that was rained down upon him. Alas, the full truth of the matter is lost to time. Though I live in hope that I might see it discovered. But we must not dwell upon such things. There is more yet to see. Onward. History awaits. I think that one was strategically placed to introduce you to the system. Possibly. I don't remember exactly what I was doing when I ran into that. I remember I was in the zone where you get the mount. However, the mount itself was a side quest and not required to do. Good girl. Honestly, I don't even feel that fast on this thing. Kind of reminds me of in like Dragon Age Inquisition, when you find out that mount the mounts don't actually make you faster when you're sprinting. It just changes the camera angle. 